Hey guys, today I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, I'm going to go through one of my favorite actors uh, who I believe is underappreciated and underrated and I'm going to go through the films I own of him and talk about some others. Uh, that actor is Tom Tolles. Uh, he's truly underrated. He's been in things, he usually plays some sort of villain, a scummy villain or something like that. Or uh, authority figure. He does both very well and I'm pretty sure he could do anything in between. So let me start off with one of his most famous films in early work, um, Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. In this movie, he plays Otis Tooley, or Otis Tooley in real life, but they call him Otis in this. And I must say that that portrayal right there was one of the best portrayals I've ever seen of that type of individual. He's a, He plays a scumbag so well in it, and he's he's really... And a, he also makes me laugh a lot of ways. Some of the things he says, like... Is Leroy hungry and stuff like that? It just makes me laugh a lot because he's such a good actor at it and he just like captures it very well. I, I hate to say, but even though he is like a sick individual, he's by far my favorite character and he plays off well with Michael Rooker very well, who plays Henry. I would recommend that movie to anyone. It's one of my favorite movies. And uh, it's directed by John McNaughton, who he worked on in a couple other movies like Mad Dog and Glory and The Borrower. And that's all I can think of that they were had uh, collaborations with. But he was all, he always he always supports a big mustache usually. But uh, in a lot of these movies, he always has his big mustache. But there's a couple where he doesn't. But um, here's uh, he also starred in this remake by Tom Savini, uh, the Night of the Living Dead remake, where he plays Harry Cooper. This is one of his roles that's a little bit different to me for me because uh, usually he plays that kind of like you know out for himself type character, not really a family man or a police officer and stuff. And this one, he's just pretty much just a guy in a bad situation and he uh... it makes the worst out of him i mean if anyone everyone's seen night living dead i mean eh. i must say that in the remake i thought that uh... tom tolls did the best job he uh... makes up some funny lines in there lame brains yo-yos i just liked him in there he doesn't have his mustache which really uh... kinda a lot of times a lot of people you know don't recognize him because of that like they, a lot of people call him a chameleon actor because he does so many roles differently, and like he does a couple of the same roles, but the roles he does do different, they're completely different, and he makes a whole new character, and you can't really tell it's him sometimes. So he's kind of actor you'd be on the internet movie database skimming through movies, you're like, I wonder who that guy is. I know I recognize him, and then you look down, and you're like, you've seen 20, like 10, 15 movies with him in it. Uh, the next one I got, I basically bought this whole box set to get this movie, and I hadn't seen it since I was little, and I still haven't got a chance to rewatch it. Um, that is... Uh, Stuart Gordon's The Pit and Pendulum, 1991 remake. This film right here has Tom Tolles in it as uh, Don Carlos. He plays one of the villains, one of like uh, Lance Hendrickson's goons, <laughs> more like it. He's like a lieutenant. He has a sword. I remember he has a sword fight. And I think, uh, spoiler here, so turn away for like three seconds. I think his head gets chopped in half or something outrageous like that. Either, but it's been a long time. But uh, that movie's pretty cool from what I remember too. And uh, another one by John McNaughton. Right here is, um, they never made the DVD in America. It's uh, The Borrower. Tom Tolles plays a, uh, like this redneck guy. Him and his son are sitting there, and they see this spacecraft, and it falls, and it, uh, it drops something off, and Tom Tolles and his son go check it out. They see a, a alien beating the crap out of this, what supposedly they think is a normal guy. Of course, he's not either. He's actually a criminal, a space criminal. So they help him by killing the alien, and then the alien returns the favor by... Uh, ripping Tom Tool's head off and walking around with it for a good chunk of the film. Uh, Tom Tool's next movie on the lineup is another one by Stuart Gordon. See, uh, he must be a likable person to work with because John McNaughton and Stuart Gordon have used him more than one time. Uh, it's a movie called Fortress. This film right here, Tom Tool's plays a character named Stiggs. He's like one of those big prison bully rapist type guys. Him and uh, a guy named Maddox, like, try to run, they run the prison and stuff, and Maddox is Bennett from Commando, if anybody knows that. And they, uh, him and Tom Tolles make a good combination. Tom Tolles is uh, just a good old goon in this one, too. He plays it great. I like him a lot in this one. But again, my favorite character. He ends up trying to redeem himself somewhat in the movie, and he does a pretty good job. He's a pretty cool character. But on time lane, like most of the time, he suffers a horrible death. Uh, the next one here is by John McNaughton. It is uh, Mad Dog and Glory with Robert De Niro, Bill Murray, and Irma Thurman. 
David Cruz was also in it. And uh, Tom Tolson in this movie plays uh, a guy named Andrew. He's a police officer, too, and he beats his wife and stuff. And David Cruz gives him a hard time. And uh, he confronts him in a bar one time and when they're on duty. And if you're on duty in a bar and you're a police officer and you get in a fight, everyone will know about it. Therefore, you'll lose your job because you're not supposed to be drinking on the job. So that's pretty much the big scene with Tom Tolles. And then uh, David Crusoe scares him off from losing his job and he makes them leave the girl he's beaten up and stuff.